Good afternoon. My name is Charles Ruffin. I will be providing you a background of myself, just briefly. Um, just to start off, I was born in uh, 1983 in Freisen, Germany. My father was in the United States Air Force at that time and stationed overseas in Ramstein, Germany. Um, he was active duty for about 20 years and retired in 2001. Um, prior to joining the military myself, in 2005, I spent most of my life growing up in a military lifestyle. We moved from state to state just about every three years or so, and I learned uh, about different places, I met new people, I went to different schools, and you know everything was a new experience. I had to start from scratch just about every three to four years. So I had a different variation of friends um, coming from all different walks of life. Uh, I started out in Florida where my brother was born. We moved to California for a few years. Then we moved to New Mexico. And then I eventually graduated high school in 2001 from Warrensburg High, Missouri. Uh, my dad was stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base then. So yes, I mentioned I have a brother. Um, he's just about three and a half years younger than I am, and uh, we've been doing military lifestyle most of most of our life. I joined in 2005. Well, that's when my whole life kind of took a spin. Um, I never wanted to join the military at first. It was something that I kind of wanted to just leave and let my dad do, uh, but things changed for me pretty quickly. Um, I was working a couple of different jobs, working in a factory. I worked at a subway for a little while making sandwiches. Um, and then I was really big into cars, like the street scene. Yeah, you know, like the Fast and Furious types. That was me for a long time. Um, so I got into a little bit of trouble and ended up in jail. After I got out of jail, my grandfather, who also served in the Army for four years, came over to my house and pretty much said, one of two things are going to happen. You're either going to end up back in jail or you're going to do what's right and join the military. So I, of course, turned over to my father and looked up at him. I can remember his look while he's standing on top of the stairs listening to what my grandfather said. And he goes, well, I guess you know what you're going to do now. So, of course, um, that was something I didn't really want to do right away, so... I took my time to try and figure things out, but it wasn't much soon after I went back to my apartment, met up with my roommates, and then eventually we all decided to join different branches of the service. Um, my best friend, he joined the Army, spent a few years over in Iraq. I joined the Air Force. I didn't leave for training for another year after that, um, but, you know, it was probably one of the best decisions I ever made. So, I eventually... Uh, Went through training. Now here I am, 13 years later. I am a active duty United States Air Force Space Operations Officer, currently stationed at uh, Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado. It took me a long time to get to where I'm at in my career. Um, a lot of training, uh, several different types of training. Um, I first started off in intelligence, and now I'm uh, currently in space operations officer school so that's just a little bit about me um, overall my experience in the military has been great um, you know I grew up in the military I joined the military and now I have essentially um, come full circle so I don't take any of my family or life experiences for granted and I'll continue to pursue my degree and I'll also continue to pursue to better myself that's all I have for myself today, and I hope you enjoyed my speech. Thank you.